Do you think, like, how the United States are and to the public proposed stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all? Mike, can we have the roll call? Yes. President Dunn. Yes. Vice President Everard. Here. Treasurer Zimmerman. Present. Sec uh, Secretary Wazor. Here. Trustee Leahy. Yes. Trustee Zurich. Trustee Zeller. Here. That's fine, yeah, Mike. Yeah, it's right. Don't throw the front door. <laughs> Just wait a second. No, All right, well, let's um, we can move on to appointment of President Pro Tem. So, we need a motion to appoint uh, Vice President Everard as President. So, second, second, sorry, you've been too fast. All right, um, Tre Treasurer Zimmerman, yes, Trustee Zeller, yes. Secretary Wazori. Yes. Um, Trustee Leahy. Yes. And Vice President Everard. Yes, Dane. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, it was, it's a horrible day. I mean, I, you know, don't you know what else to say. Uh, our, our thoughts and prayers are with mm -hmm. Chris. Um, I know Elizabeth spoke with them earlier today. Uh, he called me today to actually to talk about the meeting, and I thought, hey, hey you. Worry about your yeah. family. Do what you got to do. Don't, yeah. don't worry. So I know, I know all of our, our uh, thoughts and prayers are with them. But uh, I think it'd be appropriate if we take a moment of silence uh, for for Chris's family. Please join me. Thank you. And my well, uh, we just we were having a moment of silence. I figured that. All right. Um, carrying on. Uh, goal number six. Bonnie, would you host the honors, please? Here. Uh, to foster a conservation ethic among the Henry County citizens, helping all of us, regardless of the basis for our interest in nature, in in nature, to develop a greater awareness of our role in and responsibility for the total community of life. A conservation ethic asks us to assume a moral duty to become educated about conservation issues and attempt to act on that information. A conservation ethic is an attitude that recognizes the importance of preserving the natural heritage of the county's open space. Do I continue with all yes, okay. To preserve native plants and animals, Biological features and natural ecosystems that are threatened or endangered in McHenry County, and to reclaim such ecosystems that have been degraded for the benefit of present and future generations and for their own sake. Thank you, Brian. 5.0. John, would you mind? Sure. Conservation Stewardship Pledge. We pledge to make a difference by standing up for our water, wildlife, and weight of life in McHenry County. Our quality of life in McHenry County depends on healthy and sustainable natural resources, thoughtfully developed cities and towns, a strong economy, and beautiful outdoor places to explore, discover, and recreate. We will protect and restore wetlands, streams, and rivers, which helps to reduce flooding. Thank you. Nora, you do the honors for 6.0? Yes. Land Acknowledgement Statement. To many indigenous groups and tribal nations, including the Hokshung, Kickapoo, Lakota, Dakota, Muscoutin, Miami, Peoria, Potawatomi, Sauk, and Muskwakis, McHenry County is part of their traditional homeland. We invite you to join us in offering respect to the indigenous peoples living here today and their ancestor stewardship of the land. Together, we celebrate these special places, seek to learn and honor the history of those who came before us, 
and strive to forge meaningful relationships with indigenous communities to deepen our collective connection to the land. All right, thank you very much. Uh, next, to adopt the agenda. Are there any, uh, we have any issues or concerns about any agenda item? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the agenda. Move we'll my mic. I'll second. Second by Norma. Secretary Rosori. Yes. Treasurer Zimmerman. Yes. Trustee Zurich. Yes. President Pro Tem Everard. Yes. Trustee Zeller. Yes. Trustee Lady. Yes. All right. Thank you. Next, we have uh, some special recognition and presentations. And to start off with uh, financial information awards, uh, Sean, can I serve it to you? Yeah. Um, today, we're just going to uh, recognize, obviously, uh, Elizabeth, Andy, and all of the staff, um, because it takes everyone's effort um, to make these achievements and uh, get these certificates. So first one is a, um, the award of Certificate of Acknowledgement for Excellence in Financial Report for FY 2023 from uh, Government Finance Officers Association. And the second one is a Budget Presentation Award for FY 25 um, from, uh, again, the Government Finance Officers Association. So, just these are to you know recognize you know the hard work that they do um, for financial report and things. So um, we don't have those awards here today, but they they will come and we will list them on the wires. And Andy couldn't be here. He was here earlier. We, we had a training session that he had uh, something he had to attend to. But uh, I'll put a round of applause for Andy. Yeah. 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 Um, Elizabeth, you want to talk about the others? Absolutely. So um, the uh, Shaw Media does the voters' choice, readers' choice, uh, best of the best. And so the district is the recipient of two uh, awards this year, um, the best park being Glacial Park. And then one of the best of the hiking trails is the Hickory Grove Highlands. And so um, I did send out uh, communication. They're having a reception. Um, and you can have four people, two for each award. So that'll be at the Dole Mansion. I'll send that out again if anybody would like to join. But just again, that's to the district. Uh, it's to the, the residents who love these special places. And we appreciate them recognizing the district with these honors. Let me ask you, do we do anything to, to market people to vote for that? Unsolicited, because I know a lot of businesses do that. You know, they'll say, please vote for us, everything. So this was totally unsolicited. This is unsolicited. Oh, that's fantastic. And there's lots of great parks and open spaces. That yeah. Aren't, the, aren't just the conservation district, but a lot of park districts and other places that, that have great spaces too. So, yeah. 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 Outstanding. It's great. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, trustee report. So, President Trustees, I'll have uh, first the County Board ladies on. So, John? Hi. <laughs> um, nothing really important. Our, our meeting is tonight. So, we are working on a few things uh, look forward to next month. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'll do well, a quick update. I, I saw Amy, I should have uh, said this uh, earlier. I was hoping she would still be here tonight. But uh, for the first time in three years, I was on the uh, Algonquin Trail. I hadn't had my bike out in quite a while. And I took it to the shop, got it all tuned up, and took a nice ride, 10 miles. You didn't get lost, did you? I did not. <laughs> I stayed on the trail. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> but uh, it is what a what a difference! I mean, because literally, the I remember it the way it was, and to see it yeah. now, where you you know you can't see the the water to the right, where it was like a rapids right alongside, and the thing was kind of caving in to the right. Yeah. Um. You know, you still go down by the bridge and be swampy down there. Sometimes the water would even come over the path, and all the rocks there, and it changed the you know, the meandering of the of the stream. Uh, just incredible, and and they were actually striping the the path while I was there. So I mean, it looked like. It was a brand new, so uh, kudos to everybody that worked on that. We project. did that just for you. We <laughs> so I wouldn't get lost. Here, but... <laughs> the side that said like this way. <laughs> oh, All right. Um, we got to public comments, and we have a guest here this evening, Michael. Uh, please address the group. Welcome. 
Uh, good evening, Board of Trustees. My name is Michael Metz, and I am an independent uh, writer of the PAP. Uh, been writing for well over a decade now at this point. And I've been writing from McHenry to Crystal Lake and beyond most of the time, most of me with my friends or for recreational purposes, other than that, to connect with Crystal Lake since bus service and train service is not sufficient enough. Um, as you're talking about with the path improvements that are going on in the Agonda and Dundee area, it is very nice. I will give it that. Um, however, the path between, uh, trying to think here, um, 120 and to, I want to say, south of Crystal Lake is not in the greatest of condition. And I, as I was told last month, the contract was approved for uh, path improvements in these areas, which is good to hear that this money is getting invested as such. Um, but it is good to see this. So I'd also like to uh, let my uh, support for resolution 2462 um, for the executive directory execute professional services agreement for the Prairie Trail Rehabilitation Project. Uh, for a contract with the BOLO. Uh, I think that would be a very good uh, improvement for the path, especially when it is very hard to exceed speeds of 10 mile an hour when you're trying to leave the country. Uh, other than that, I'd like to say that's my Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not seeing any raised hands online. Yeah. Michael, thank you. That is my section on the path, too. <laughs> I live right by the Nunda Township building. Okay. So I agree with you. I head out to 120 all the time. That's my ride. I love it. Um, and yeah, there's times you got to stay slow for some of the uh, the bumps in the road. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for time. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Moving on to 13.0 uh, approval of the previous minutes. So we get the regular meeting for June 20th. Committee the whole July 18th and our July 23rd regular meeting. So, any addition or corrections to any of those minutes? So this is just point of order uh, consent agenda. So, our board secretary should read each of the items on the consent agenda and say so to move it forward, and then it can have a second. Agenda action 13.0 board business consent agenda 13.1. Approval of minutes of previous meetings, 13.1A, June 20th, 2024, regular meeting, executive session, 13.1B, July 18th, 2024, Committee of the Whole, 13.1C, July 23rd, 2024, regular meeting, 13.2, Treasurer's Report, 13.2A, acceptance of treasurer's report for July 31st, 2024, as presented. Um, variance report, first quarter, fiscal year 2025, ended June 30th, 2024. 13.3, resolution number 24-57, maintaining current employee health insurance plans and cost savings through intergovernmental Personnel Benefit Cooperative, parentheses, IPBC for the period of January 1st, 2025 through December 31st, 2025. 13.4A, resolution number 24-58 to awarding a contract to conserve FS of Woodstock, uh, Illinois, the lowest responsible and responsive bidder, bidder for the unleaded and diesel fuels at bus 0.25 per gallon over market price the day the fuel is delivered for a period of one year starting September 1st, 2024 and ending August 31st, 2025. Bid number 0724.07.01. 13.4B, resolution number 24-59, awarding Contract to Suburban Propane of Crystal Lake, Illinois, close responsible and responsive bidder for the purpose of propane fuel at a cost not to exceed $1.2999 per gallon for a period of one year starting September 1st, 2024, and ending August 31st, 2025. Bid number 0724. 
13.5, resolution number 24-60, authorizing the payment to McHenry County Collector and McHenry County Treasurer for the 2023 second installment of property taxes in an amount not to exceed $94,556.81. 13.6, resolution number 24-61, authorizing the ratification of the executive director's execution of change order number one in the amount of $5,120 from Phil Lato Roofing of Crest Hill, Illinois for the uh, Region 1 re-roofing project C01-1. Excuse me, C01 324.07.02. 13.7, authorization to prepare specifications and let bids for native seed for standard mixtures and dedicated natural resource special fund account projects countrywide. Bid number 0824.08.01. 13.8, resolution number 2462, authorizing the executive director to execute a professional services agreement for the Prairie Trail Rehabilitation Project with Hay and Associates Incorporated of Volo, Illinois, for a cost not to exceed $38,700. All right, thank you very much, Ron. You second. 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 Motion moved to approve. Do I do second? Do I do the motion or do you? You did. You did. Yeah, did it. Uh -huh. Okay, thank second. you. Seconded by Sean. Okay. okay. All right. Um, Trustee Zeller. Yes. Trustee Lane. Yes. President Prince and Member Art. Yes. Trustee Third. Yes. Treasurer Zimmerman. Yes. Secretary Wazori. Yes. All right. Moving on to 14. Oh. And over to Sean. Yeah. Uh, 14 online treasurer's internal audit. My apologies, I did not pull any items. I did make a review of um, bills payable, but I did not pull any items this month. So I'll make sure to do that next month. 14.1B, um, uh, make a motion to approve the payment of bills as indicated on the submission of bills pending report for the month ending July 31st, 2024. Is there a second? Oh, so I think I'm going to run. Thank you. Hey, President Pro Team Everard. Yes. Trustee Zurich. Yes. Secretary Wazori. Yes. Treasurer Zimmerman. Yes. Trustee Deller. Yes. And Trustee Lakey. Yes. Motion passed. Okay, and 14.2 is approved. Yes. Okay, and 14.2 consideration of a motion to adopt resolution 24 63, authorizing the ratification of a collective bargaining agreement with the Fraternal Order of Police Local Council from April 1. 2023 through March 31st, 2026. Second. Move and second it. Who, who is the first? I'm sorry. You were okay. All right. Um, all right. Trustee Zeller. Yes. Trustee Zuri. Yes. Secretary Wazori. Yes. Treasurer Zimmerman. Yes. Trustee Leahy. Yes. President uh, Proto Memorard. Yes. Motion passed. Okay. Executive Director's report. Elizabeth. Okay. So, uh, Thank you, uh, Vice President Evard was in attendance uh, this afternoon. We did a training session for staff on the proposition, and we'll hold another workshop for board members too. Uh, last week, we sent out communication to various groups of the district uh, requesting to have a presentation at a time with them to share factual information on the upcoming proposition on November 5th. Uh, the training session went well. We, we did a PowerPoint. We've got our talking points. We did some scenario role-playing of, of different types of groups, being in a large group, individual meeting, being with a member of the business community, being with a, an environmental or recreational advocate to seeing something that's posted on social media. So we kind of took it from a variety of different uh, angles here, and we'll take that back to, to kind of refine some of the potential questions that we may have as we, we send this information out, um, but, uh, but all good. So we're ramping up on that. Um, 
Also, you see some of the materials here um, on those poster boards. Um, those will be in our visitor centers. And you'll notice on our homepage, like I shared when we had our joint meeting at the foundation, um, on the front page, you'll see the direct link into the messaging on the proposition. And you know we're starting to get some social conversations about that. So again, continue to keep up whatever we can do, but I'll set up a training session uh, to work with you individually. Um, last meeting, we also discussed with this uh, as part of the strategic structuring of going to the ballot now, is this opportunity with the uh, debt service being paid off 100% by the district. So next month, when the levy is in front of the board, we've also asked uh, general counsel and the special counsel, bond counsel, who assisted in declaring uh, our intent, that we'll have an ordinance, our intent to abate taxes for the levy years of 24 and 25, um, that will be in front of the board for consideration, uh, you know, uh, related to the debt service outstanding on the funds. So that will be in front of the board as well. And uh, with that approval, then that will be messaged out. So be available. And that is all I have. All right. Well, thank you. Do you have that presentation from today? I do, and I can share that. It's still being tweaked, but okay. I can give you some of the resources that I think would be helpful. That'd be great. Put that out yeah. And I think the training was, was really effective. Some really good questions, and you know, the people had to actually kind of practice answering those. And yeah. Ed and I were in a group, and it was it was some really you know you're talking to a hunter. Actually, somebody you you're talking about the you know in front of a group, and somebody who's an anti-hunter is against hunting. Why do you allow hunting if you're a conservation group? Yeah, so those kinds of questions. Mm -hmm. I, I never vote to raise taxes for anything. Why would I vote for this? Yeah. Really, really good question. So it really got people thinking. So uh, a lot of effort goes into putting those programs together and it was effective. Yeah, yeah you know, that is, that has my mind. It's been the same thing with the business perspective, but, you know, but now that I'm, so did you guys capture all that? There's going to be a Q and A, I assume. Yeah, or, we will. We yeah. will have additional questions and, and responses to that. So we'll be able to socialize that with you. Yeah. Um, so, but it was it was really good, and I think yeah. as you come up with ideas or thoughts, and sure. it, we're learning along the way as people go out and they're speaking, kind of what what areas are confusing, what do we need to strengthen, you know, just a message, stay on it, that that yeah. basis, um, from that perspective. The other thing I forgot to mention um, that I did send out to today, nationally in McHenry County, again we see great in the visitor uh, tourism economy growth to McHenry yes, County, which is favorable. Yeah. So yeah. again, we are part of that. And play a big part in, in our outdoors and, and bringing visitors and those that are here to stay to enjoy the water, wildlife, and those outdoor recreational experiences. And then lastly, um, the two director positions that the Ed's future retirement here next month. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, with the director of marketing and education, um, uh, applications closed on Sunday. Um, HR manager Hyder and myself have reviewed applications and we are beginning first initial interviews this week. So that'll start uh, on uh, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. And then from there, uh, plan after Labor Day will be second interviews. Um, so again, we've got good response on internal and external. I don't remember I should do a nice departure. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't yet, right? <laughs> But that's all I have. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Um, and public comments, I think you said the word on. I'm not Please. seeing any public comment. Raised hands online. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, well then, uh, just before we uh, entertain a uh, motion for adjournment, um, Elizabeth and I were talking earlier uh, about Chris's situation, thinking about you know, what can we do in terms of uh, some sort of, of a memorial. Um, so my thought is a tree wrapped in his son's name. Um, the other one is, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a beautiful idea. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a bench. I saw it. In fact, the thing oh. you sent out today with uh, the foundation, you can do uh, you buy a bench with the person's name, put a plaque on it. So we'll give some thought to that. You know, you have any ideas or, or support one of those ideas? If you would either send Elizabeth or myself or both of us, uh, what your thoughts are in that area. I have a question. Um, I didn't know that the district was would do a bench on their own land. Is this or I don't know. I didn't. I don't so think after we're doing the foundation, we started working. If we have locations for benches, the foundation has found a way to take resources and work with our planning department where it's appropriate to do that. We do the tree planting and memorial 
and working with our foundation. But we'll explore those options and avenues and report back to the group. We'll also send flowers on behalf of the board and staff. And you know, whoever can, if you can make it to the funeral, I, I plan to attend and well, so some of you can attend as well. Mm -hmm. the thoughts and prayers are with him and his mm -hmm. All right, with that, um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. A second. <clears throat> Who's first? Yeah, well, Ron's moving in. Okay, you're first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. Is there a second? Oh. Okay. okay. First. Trustee Lady. Yes. Trustee Zurich. Yes. Treasurer Zimmerman. Yes. President Fuji Memberard. Yes. Trustee Zeller. Yes. And Secretary Wadori. Yes. All right, adjourn. Thank you. Thank you, everybody at home. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.